Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this advanced countdown timer in Premiere Pro. Let's open Premiere Pro and get to work. I already have a background on my timeline, which you can have as well. First, let's create a transparent video. To do this, go to your project panel, click on the new item and select transparent video. Leave all the settings to default in the window that pops up and press OK. Drop and drag the transparent video onto the video clip on the timeline. Extend the transparent video as long as you want the timer to be. I'll go for around 10 seconds. Let's go to the effects panel and search for time code effect. Drag the effect onto the transparent video. Let's do some adjustments in the effects control panel. Remove this field symbol by unchecking this box over here. Next. Set opacity to zero to remove the background box around it. We can also adjust the size by increasing or decreasing it over here. For this countdown timer, we only need the minutes and the seconds. To erase the other parts, we will apply another effect. Go to the effects panel and search for the crop effect. Drag and drop it to the transparent video. Inside the effects control panel, click on the crop effect and use the blue lines on the program monitor to crop the transparent video. You can reposition the timer by changing the position settings on your effects control panel under motion. The counter is counting up instead of down. To change that, reverse the clip. Since it's a transparent background, we will have to nest it first. So right click, nest, change or accept the default name and click OK. Now we can reverse speed and click OK. Now it counts down. Unfortunately, it's not possible to change the font of the timer, but at least we can change the color. To do this, Go to the effects panel and search for tint effect. Drag and drop it onto the transparent video and inside the effects control panel, change map black to white and white to another color and done. In the next steps, we are going to create this advanced countdown timer. Let's create a circle by using the ellipse tool. You can find it in the tools bar under the pen tool. Once selected, click anywhere in the program monitor and drag to make a circle. You can hold the shift key as you drag to get a perfect circle. When done, go to the essential graphics panel, center your circle with these buttons here. Disable your fill and enable the stroke. You can also change the thickness with these adjustments. Then duplicate this layer by right clicking on it and selecting duplicate. We name it so we can identify it easily. Change the color to something of your liking. And let's reduce the size as well to something like this. Let's extend the graphics to match the length of our background.
Now, let's go to our effects panel and search for an effect by the name Radial Wipe. Drag and drop it to the graphics layer and go to the effects control panel. Enable keyframes on transition completion by clicking on this timer here. Drag the keyframe to the start of the clip and put another one with the completion value of 100% at the end of the clip. If you scrub through your timeline, you will see what we've made. Make it smooth by adding is in for the last and is out for the first one. Here's what we've got. Lastly, add the countdown timer to our graphics. This is the result. And there you have it, an animated countdown timer for your videos. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next one. Kwaheri.